high TV power on. I'm David Katzmeyer from CNET and that was a look at the smart interaction power on capability built into Samsung's high-end TVs this year. These sets have voice control and gesture control, so there's a little built-in camera and microphone along the top of this TV. I'm going to be taking an in-depth look at those features today. Uh, this is a Samsung PN60E8000. This feature is available at a bunch of different LCD and plasma TVs this year uh, at the high end of the line. In addition to the camera and microphone, the TVs also include a special touch remote control with its own built-in microphone. So you speak right into this like you're doing voice dictation, and it actually allows the TV to pick up the voice commands a little bit better. We'll start out with voice commands. The way this thing works is you basically have to say, Hi, TV, every time you want it to do something. Now, of course, it might misinterpret what I'm doing because I'm talking now, but you see along the bottom there's a set of commands down there, and I can say, More commands. That brings up another menu. Your video. Now this is probably the most useful feature for voice command because searching on a remote control takes a long time. By voice it should be faster. Hi TV. Search. Parks and recreation. So that was a failure. Although, you know what, there's the search result right there. At this point, you can't actually say down or enter or watch or anything like that. You have to grab your remote control, drive down, and select it. Let's try another search. Two broke girls. Another failure. It's not quite as accurate as it could be. Let's try the remote control. Two broke girls. A little bit better, but again, no results. Now let's try another show. American Idol. That's success. Pretty good. The Bachelor. Not bad. Again, another success rate. Looking for the TV show. You can also command your cable box via voice because the TV includes a built-in IR blaster that I've already synced to work with my DirecTV system. Let's see how it works. Channel number. 200. Zero, zero. Let's try again. Channel number. This one took me to channel 9. You can also use voice to launch apps from within Samsung's smart TV system. So let's try that. Hi TV. More commands. Smart Hub. So the second major component after voice to Samsung smart interaction is gesture control. And that's literally waving at the TV screen. I'll show you how it works. Start off. I just stick in your hand up and it picked up my hand here. Let's change channels. You kind of grab it like that. Go up. You can also use the gesture control to change your volume. And if you click on the middle of the screen, it takes you to a couple of other areas. For example, the Smart Hub. Now this is where, in theory, it's a little bit nicer than using the remote control because, again, you can drive around over here. Let's check out the web browser. Oh, that was a little coarse. Trying to bring it up here. Oh. A little bit more difficult than it could be to navigate this web page. So as you can see, navigating on the web does work with gesture control. It's just a little bit awkward. And wow, my arms are tired. So after playing a little bit with the smart interaction feature, voice and gesture control, I can say that it feels pretty beta. Gesture works as well as uh, it needs to, but really it's not going to be the main way to control the TV. Same thing with voice control, which often has a lot of mistakes and can be a little bit more frustrating to use than actually just picking up your remote control. And most people actually have the remote control in hand. Another big issue is that when you're watching on DVR, for example, there aren't any commands built into the IR blaster to say fast forward or skip ahead 30 seconds. So again, you're going to need your remote anyway. And once you have that remote, you're going to do 99% of the actions associated with your TV a lot easier than you will via voice or gesture. 
That's a quick look at Samsung's smart interaction on its high-end TVs, both plasma and LCD for 2012. I'm David Katzmeyer.